time for John Geller. Okay, uh, this is uh, one of the songs on what I call my digital single. I have two songs on CD Baby. This is this. If it were 45, this would probably be the B side. It's called My Basketball. That's a useful thing. 
Yeah, well, the guy, this guy, he used to play over at West 4th Street. They was Sly Williams. Oh, uh, okay, I never that. I mean, I'm from Westchester, so. Oh, yeah, well, West 4th Street and 6th Avenue is the spot oh, oh, for okay. basketball. Okay. That is like, that's like yeah. super it's basketball. It's a very famous spot. Yeah. So you probably have to really know how to play it. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say yeah, white boys don't really play that very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so what's going on? Um, well, that song and the song I did before are finally on uh, on CD Baby. So I hope everyone, if you like the song, go and your song is. Sorry, your song is. Uh, I don't. I think so. I don't know yet. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't checked the sales uh, thing, but um, you just wait for the check. I'm hoping. Yeah, I, I gotta promote it more. I haven't done enough of that. Uh, but, um, yeah, the song I did before, uh, when I was here in April, I did a song called Song for Heather. You know, yeah, you know, I did. That, one, that oh, one's I more, oh, yeah, right, right. That one's more like the A side if it was going to be a 45. Oh, this yeah. was cute. I like um, this one. It stays it, in yeah. your head. It's, it's got a good rip. Well, this one really went over well uh, when I was, you know, a, a lot of times when I uh, do open mics, like acoustic open mics and stuff like and that. Where, Everyone's always where saying, do you do them? Where's your favorite? Uh, well, I, I, there's a few in Peekskill. There's one uh, every month, or not during the summer, but during the school year, every month there's an open mic at a place During the student. school year? Like, are, you, are you a little kid? Are you a little no, no, it goes, no, it goes from like about September to the last one's in June. It's the first Saturday. You know, Saturday. this song reminds me of the old Arlo Guthrie uh, song. It's like, I don't care. I, I just want to ride my motorcycle. Oh, sick. yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't really inspired I don't want to pickle. I don't want to pickle. It was meant to be more like that. I love that. It's meant to be more like a rockabilly song. I actually wrote it for a rockabilly band, rockabilly band that kind of screwed me out of a gig, so they didn't get the song. Ah, <laughs> so do you write for other people? Uh, no, that's something I'd like to do, though. Yeah, um, who would? So uh, if anyone likes my songs and, you know, you think you need songs, most people who are going to my speech write their own songs. So. Well, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. It goes both ways, but it's all about, it's all about everything, I think, you know? Yeah. You know, it, it, are you squeaking, Mr. Wood? No, I, I, I'm just trying to hit him. Yeah, I don't think he wants to talk about that, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, um, do you have gigs coming up? No, no, I, um, uh, I've kind of gone off bands. I'm mostly a drummer, for those of you who don't know. Uh, I usually play drums with bands. Uh, but I've kind of gone off that. I haven't been able to get the kind of gigs that I want. I had one a few weeks ago. So if you have a dream, dream, see yourself in three years, five years, what's your what's your biggest fantasy? I'd like to uh, be making my living uh, playing and recording my music. And how do you think that can happen? Do you think you'd have to like go naked? Uh, no, that would uh, decrease. Go naked. Naked killer. Because, you know, naked killer. you need to do something that's going to do shocking value to get yourself attention. That's what I'm told all the time. You're not just going to get there on your pretty face. It doesn't... Mm, no, that's no, damn no. sure. <laughs> so, on, um, what, what kind of thing, what gimmick do you think you could come up with that might get you that ability to make a living doing your, your music? Uh, I, don't, I think you just have to do good music. You have to make good music and you have to write... That music. helps. Yeah. You I, like a, I know, you have, to, you, you have to have a cool look. You know, I, I mean, wish yeah. it was still like that, but it's you not the days. It. It's not the it. days of James Taylor and and um, you know, all those people like you know that used to make it on their music. But it's now it's, with the music. it goes that, that, back to Gaga. Look, she's the biggest selling musician or whatever you want to call her in in the that past year. Her. And she said on Letterman, she said on Letterman, she started getting attention when she took her clothes off. So I was just wondering. Well, that works for girls. I don't think it'll work that much for him. It worked for the Chili Peppers, didn't it? It might work for him on the west side. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. Um, (laughs) But, uh, yeah, I'm not not that uninhibited or unethical, much to my... uh, Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding with you, kind of, sort of. But I'm just trying to think of, like... If you were if you were helping another artist, like what kind of gimmick would you suggest they do? Uh, you know, just I don't know, present yourself well. I would say. Um, I mean, your music is fabulous. It's, uh, it's I mean, that's not even the issue. Talent is abundant. Everybody, but and you including, mm-hmm. have amazing songs, incredible talent. But bottom line is, you know, you got to do something a little bit bigger, 
a little uh, bit more creative. I worked with the Grateful Dead for 15 years. We yeah, didn't and they were from we that give, era. We where, didn't give a fuck about whether anybody liked it or not. We but, just played and we just did what we did. And they toured and they toured and they toured and they toured and toured and said, play and tour and have fun. And like when you're having fun, that's when it'll work. But when they make an ice cream after you called Cherry Garcia, you mm-hmm. know that you've done Did something. you see the size of him like that? <laughs> yeah, he probably ate a lot of it. He probably ate a lot of it. He was a lot of He was pretty big even before that. Actually. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but you know, that's Jerry. But like I said, it's like, it's like you know, Nike says just do it. You know, if you start worrying, I've always told Not a lot worrying. of musicians, if you start thinking about doing this and trying to do that, no, concentrate on your music, concentrate on your skills, and just do it and have well, we fun. we all do that. And do it and have fun. Then a lot of people don't have fun. A lot of people stress. You know, and they try to scheme and like, what am I going to do to do this better? How am I going to do that? Uh, Just play the fucking music. Yeah. Also, if you're, gonna, if you're going to do a gimmick, you got to be comfortable with that gimmick. If I come up with a gimmick that I think will work and I'm comfortable with it, I'll certainly. Yeah, you wouldn't look good in a diaper blushing. No, no, well, well I Diaper Man did that. that. <laughs> diaper Man did that. And there's a guy in PFUC. Gary, yeah, he passed away last oh, year. Did I have interviews with him. He was such a guy. in the diaper? Gary, Gary, that? Gary that? yes. That's the chair with the stain in it. Oh, no. Oh, Chris wasn't sitting there. Yeah. Well, I guess I it was an honor. I was about to interview <laughs> him, <laughs> Diaper Man. He <laughs> was such a cool man. I, Yeah, he's gone about a year. I didn't know that. Yeah, either. yeah. And he wore that diaper so well. Yeah, yeah, he did. He was, a, he was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that guy. So last That's shout out. Anything text. you need to say, do. Uh, well, shout out. Uh, I'll try to do a very quick shout out. Uh, the guy who uh, recorded the songs that are on CD Baby, he did the guitar track also and the bass track, did a great job. Frank Anea from Satellite Sound in Mount Kisco, New York. Also, uh, some of my favorite New York punk bands, uh, one I've, I played with and I was with for a long time and uh, a couple that I discovered recently, I want to say hi to the Bloody Muffs. And, uh, yeah, yeah so you guys know them. And uh, I don't know if you know the Electric Mess, but they're terrific. You should try that. Electric Mess again. The Electric Mess and... Oh, and most of all, tied for last. Tied for last. You know it. Oh, yeah, I, I love know. the name, too. It is. It's a good it's one. It's a great name. Yeah. I know. I'll be last. Uh, okay, I'll be tied for last. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you so much, John Gallagher. Hey, Johnny, good to see you. Good to see you as a victim 